Well, chances are you, someone you know, or someone you love has diabetes. That's because according to the Centers for Disease Control, just over one in 10 Oklahomans has some form of the disease. As we wrap up our day long look at living with diabetes, we want you to hear from a mother and daughter about how being diagnosed really changed their lives and how it sparked a passion for making sure lawmakers understand the challenges that diabetics face. Just days before Megan's third birthday, her mom knew something wasn't right. She had all the classic symptoms of thirst and, and lethargy and um, loss of weight. Kim Kolober put it down to Megan's recent bout of flu, so she wasn't prepared for the pediatrician's diagnosis. Your daughter has type 1 diabetes. After a week in ICU, Megan and Kim came home to a totally new life, one requiring close monitoring of Megan's blood sugar. Many days, 6, 10, 12, little pricks to the finger to check up blood sugar. All to keep Megan healthy and avoid the worst complications of diabetes. Heart attack, stroke, amputation, blindness kidney failure. Ten years later, it changed their lives again. I read about a rally for a cure. Since that rally 21 years ago, dozens of photo albums chronicle Kim and Megan's work advocating for the needs of diabetics at the Oklahoma State Capitol and the nation's capital. This fall, they're focusing on the skyrocketing cost of a vial of insulin. We want to know why it, they're charging $385 in the United States when they're charging $45 in Canada and Mexico. Megan uses about four vials a month of the insulin that type 1 diabetics require to regulate their blood sugar. The insulin to Megan is like oxygen to us. Congress is considering a measure to allow the use of biosimilar insulins in the U.S. Kim believes the competition will bring down the cost of all types of insulin, but she says there's a roadblock to FDA approval built into the legislation. If they have not been approved by the FDA by March of 2020, then they will be shut down and have to start all over. In Oklahoma, Megan and Kim work with lawmakers such as Senator Carrie Hicks. The challenges of diabetes aren't just faced by her constituents. Our son at 17 months old was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and we were within about 30 minutes of actually losing him. Hicks is part of the Diabetes Caucus at the state capitol. They have seven goals for the upcoming sessions, including encouraging more physical activity in schools, providing more training for diabetes self-management, and passing legislation to make life-saving insulin more affordable. I think it's really unconscionable that we are asking families to make these difficult decisions, whether or not you're going to be able to afford your rent, your mortgage, your car payment, or be able to keep your child alive. And Megan and Kim will be at the Capitol to make sure all state lawmakers know why they believe passing such legislation is crucial. We want to make sure that every Oklahoman can access the, the tools they need to control either their type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Head over to this story on KGRH.com to see the full Legislative Diabetes Caucus 2020 agenda.